pre-registrations is approaching its 20 million milestone goal, we'll be getting to it very soon. After that, we have a target of 10 million more for the final goal. For now, let's check out three fascinating aspects of the game that you will absolutely enjoy. First is the graphics and animation. Wuthering Waves offers high-end graphics and amazing animation. From graphics settings for both mobile phone and PC, you will enjoy the best configuration for your device. You can set your graphics to advance with 120 FPS. This is a huge feature, guys. It can even support NVIDIA DLSS that improves game performance and boosts frame rates. Medium, low, and very low settings are also available to use depending on your device capabilities. For more information, if your device will be able to run the game in minimum or recommended requirements, visit the link from the description below. For me, one of the main reason why I was hooked by this game is the graphics. The anime-style art transcends to the actual cutscenes of the game. It's like you are playing a real-time anime episodes. I'm not overreacting, it's just so crisp and beautiful for me. What I also notice is that the character's mouth animation perfectly match the voice lines. The character's emotion are also on point. Although others says that the design and colors of the characters are boring, but for me, I like it so far. I like the designs of characters as well. It just matches the current theme of the game, which is post-apocalyptic. Moreover, I love that even a 4-star character in the game has their own ultimate animation. How about you guys? Are you satisfied with overall graphics of the game? Comment down below. Next is the gacha system and rewards. With regards to the gacha, it's similar in Genshin with 50-50 mechanics and character banner. But in Wuthering Waves you only need max 80 pity to guarantee a 5-star. The best thing is that in Wuthering Waves, players have the 100% guaranteed limited 5-star in the weapon banner because the standard 5-star weapon has a separate banner already. We can't deny that this is one the best gacha offer out there. Then the excitement continues with previous leak regarding a standard 5-star selector character banner. Although it's still not yet official, community will love this if it's true because it saved the hassle of re-rolling accounts. With regards to rewards, I love that aside from Union-level gift packs, we also have a free 5-star standard weapon selector upon reaching Union-level 45. Kuro is literally giving new players the best gacha offer they can give although we are not yet sure of how F2P friendly the game will be because we still need to see how much we can get from the exploration's rewards and how often will they release events in the game every update. I am looking forward to it being great as well. The last one is the combat in Wuthering Waves. Based on developer's note, the combat style of Wuthering Waves can be expressed in the three following aspects. Fast-paced action, visually appealing combat representation, and strategy-oriented team building. The movesets you would commonly use in combat are normal attack, evasion, resonance skill, resonance liberation, and parry. Boss fights in this game is really satisfying. I really prefer a snappy and flashy animations type of combat than combat with big damage and nukes that can one-shot bosses. So this is certainly the most appealing part of the game for me. How about you guys? What are the aspects or things you love in this game? Comment your thoughts below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Wuthering Waves content in the future.